Hello RuneScape, Will Miss it here with a new video and how is everyone doing? During the years RuneScape has existed, players have done some crazy things in the game, either by coincidence or so that they can stand out from the crowd. To showcase some of the craziest players in this game, I have compiled a list of 10 unusual player accomplishments. Let's get going. Starting off with the first accomplishment from the players Mida, Frosted Owl, Bluey, Aifk and Flamesage. These guys are the perfect example of getting creative when wanting something to do in RuneScape. Inspired from luring Ironworth guards to the Tower of Voices, the group of five decided to lure an Abyssal Demon out of the Slayer Tower. But it didn't stop there. Three hours later, the group had successfully lured an Abyssal Demon all the way to Priftinus using stuns and freezes, which triggers the demon ability to teleport to a player. The demon, which they named Grapefruit, survived in Priftinus for a total of 8 minutes before was killed by a random player. Since then, Jagas have added the chance for an Abyssal Demon named Grapefruit to spawn in Priftinus at random times. The group have also challenged themselves further and have gone on to take the demon out for a walk to locations such as Entrana, Karanja or Sofanem. Number 2. PVM Addict being a fairly known PVM in group, PVM Addicts decided to obtain a series of PVM achievements on the Combat 3 account. With a team of 32 players, the Combat 3 account now holds a Bombay Pet, the Outfit of Omens, the Daredevil title and the Defeater title. The group states they failed so many times and lost count, but it was in the end worth it, holding rewards from some of RuneScape's hardest bosses on a fresh account. Number 3. Tough to Power being a forum enthusiast, Tufta is known for his incredible post count, having posted 128,500 forum posts and counting. Assuming he spent at least a minute on each post, he spent 2,142 hours on the forums, or 89 days straight. Number 4. X underscore X Combat 3's with 9 announced Slayer is no longer that impressive due to the use of Treasure Hunter, so how about those who can't use the help of boosts? X underscore X is a combat 3 maxed out hardcore Iron Man that without the help of Treasure Hunter and without combat have achieved a range of impressive levels such as 200 million XP in Hunter, 120 Invention and 32 million Slayer XP. Truly an accomplishment to take note of for a combat 3 player who cannot die. Number 5. Iso. In July 2015, Iso created his Iron Man account and set out on a mission to get every POH treasure chest item by himself. Since starting, Iso has completed 8632 clue scrolls, having the record for the most clues completed in RuneScape. Amongst his vast collection of loot are two barrow dice, a third ditch range top and a backstab cape. However, for the most elite clue scroll completions, the title belongs to Prices, having completed 4105 elites and obtained loot such as 5 barrow dice, 4 shadow dice, 2 druidic tops and a druidic wreath, amassing a total of over 7 billion GP just from clues. Number 6. Stir Being the world's best minigamer and seasonal high score enthusiast, Stir is ranked number 1 in 5 different minigame high scores being Dominion Tower, Crucible, Barbarian Assault Collectors, Bandus PvP Kills and Heist Guards. She also scores 2nd in Castle Wars games, Conquest and Heist Robbers. This together with her 12 seasonal high score wins shows her true dedication to the minigames and challenges in this game. Number 7. Mnir Nab this legend first entered RuneScape in 2005 but never really got into it before 2010 and has since then built his account to become the world's best free-to-play account, having over 3.1 billion XP where 14 of the 16 available free-to-play skills are maxed out at 200 million XP. Only remaining are magic and mining which when he achieves will make him the first ever maxed out free-to-play account. Despite also being ranked in the top 200 overall with the account Minir, Minir trains a free-to-play account independently without any advantages from pay to play, taking no donations and never transfer any wealth from his pay to play account. Number 8. Iron Seto. Hardcore Iron Man achieved the most incredible things due to their limitation of not being able to get any help from players or the fact they cannot die. And when you consider this, it's even more impressive knowing Iron Seto achieved the final boss title. Final boss requires a kill count of 5000 bosses where at least every boss has to be killed a hundred times. Doing this without dying is an incredible achievement which also resulted in the player Blackland eating a sock as promised on Reddit. Number 9. Jebrim between 2008 and the time of making this video, Jebrim have achieved more than 900 million agility XP, shared over 5 different accounts on RuneScape 3 and Old School. Having the incredible goal of 1 billion XP between the two games, Jebrim trains agility without the boost of items such as Silverhawks or Treasure Hunter, capping at the average rate of 69,000 XP an hour. This results in over 13,000 hours doing agility, or 535 days. He plans to finish his insane goal on April 26, 2018, 10 years after first getting 99 agility. 
In addition to this, he's also the player with the most agility XP in RuneScape Classic, with over 125 million XP, though this is completely separated from his goals as he trained his Classic account at the same time as one of his R's 3 year old school accounts. Number 10, and the final player on the list, Drumgun. Drumgun is not only known for his incredible XP achievements on the high scores, but he also holds the most game time in RuneScape, being 2429 days online and counting. On average, this means he spent 13 hours playing RuneScape every single day for the past 12 years after he started playing RuneScape in 2005. Drumgun has a health condition called Chronic Sinusitis, paired with a severe case of allergy for the common triggers. Because of this, he was taken out from public school eventually and homeschooled for the remainder. Finding his own way to get on with the daily life and with his high competitive personality, Drumgun was able to spend his day grinding for achievements. As he would mainly go for XP records and enjoy taking part in different minigames, he would for example spend his time in Soul Wars to achieve the highest monthly XP record for strength. After this, he would keep playing Soul Wars together with his friends and girlfriend in a major clan war, which during he achieved 200 million XP in the remaining combat skills. Due to his talent for playing up to 19 hour days for years, Drumkin eventually became the first player to 200 million summoning XP. For other stats, he would earn his own money rather than through donations or merchanting, which resulted in him spending time on rather balanced methods in order to gain both money and XP. Because of this, he was able to train his stats to 200 million XP the way he felt comfortable with until the release of Divination. With his competitive self, Drumgun hit rank 1 overall on the high scores and kept that accomplishment until Invention was released almost 3 years later. He does however plan to get that title back with the potential release of a future skill. And that is it for this time, let me know in the comment section below who your favorite is. If you liked the video and want to see more like it, do consider giving the video a thumbs up. My name is Will Miss it, and I'll see you guys later.